Ukraine braces for renewed Russia offensive near Kharkiv, this is the headline of the Telegraph, which caused resonance and some panic, who does not read beyond the headlines. The Telegraph clarifies below in the text that near Kharkiv they mean Kupinsk. But if they write on Kupinsk in the headline, who will read it? The offensive on Lehman Kupinsk axis has been going on for half a year, there are hellacious battles every day in this direction and Ukrainian defenders hold their positions at a heavy price. There is nothing new in the fact that after regrouping and replenishment the occupants will resume more intensive assaults. First of all, it should be understood that the threat of invasion will always be there and not only for Kharkiv region, but for all the regions bordering Russia and Belarus. Only this threat can be either maximum, moderate or minimal. To understand the current level of threat to Kharkiv and the Kharkiv region, let's analyze the composition of the Russian occupation forces near the borders with Ukraine. As of today, along the eastern border of Ukraine and Russia, there is a concentration of border cover troops, with a total strength of just over 27,000 personnel. But we are most interested in the group Belgorod, which is supposed to be an extreme threat. It is 11,500 personnel, 80 tanks, 150 armored fighting vehicles, a little over 300 pieces of artillery, and about 30 MLRS. And with this number, according to the Telegraph, which refers to some anonymous but very reliable sources, they will try to capture Kharkiv and the region. For three months already Avdivka cannot be surrounded and occupied by a group of 45,000, and here we are talking about 11,500, a city of 1 million people, surrounded by defense lines and borders. In other words, there is a threat of sabotage and shelling, but the threat of re-invasion is now minimal. In order to pose a threat to Kharkiv, the group of troops Bielgorod should be increased to at least 60,000. And to do it imperceptibly and quickly is simply unrealistic. The question arises, what was it? Yet another demonstration of total incompetence of another media outlet. After all, an elementary analysis of the situation on the border makes us realize the degree of delirium of such materials. Not quite so. All of us can see how in recent days the Ukrainian defense forces have been conducting highly effective strikes, on the enemy's military facilities on the territory of Russia in the Belgorod region, and directly near Belgorod. The Russian command cannot effectively counter such strikes, and panic is spreading among the local population. I do not exclude that the Russian special services, through their sources in the Western media, have carried out another psychological operation. This creates a corresponding psychological effect, suggesting that if nothing were flying over the Belgorod region, a renewed invasion of the Kharkiv region would not be considered. The goal is to sow panic both inside Ukraine and among partners, who would be alarmed by the appearance of a front in one more region, and who would pressurize Kyiv not to strike at the territory of Russia. Filter the information and read a little further than the headlines, if you have time.